Recently, Israel inaugurated its new port called Haiva New Port, which was built by China. Even though the construction of the new port has a positive impact on Israel, on the other hand there are other countries that do not approve of the collaboration between Israel and China. And the following is the largest mega port project in Israel. Haifa Port, is a port located on the eastern coast of the Mediterranean Sea near the city of Haifa in Israel. Haifa Port began operating for the first time in 1933, and is the largest port among the three ports in Israel. Haifa Port is located in a natural harbor, namely a water area that is naturally protected, and can be used for loading and unloading ships. That's why Haifa Port can operate in all weather conditions, and Haifa Port is the only port in Israel that can operate 24 hours non-stop. Haifa Port's natural harbor stretches over an area of 700,000 square meters. Has several terminals, and can handle various types of cargo ships including passenger ships. Haifa Port is also a landing place for cruise ships, which bring tourists from various countries. And every year the number of tourists visiting Haifa Port increases, reaching hundreds of thousands of visitors each year. Because Haifa Port is the largest port in Israel, so sometimes Haifa Port experiences traffic jams at the port. Namely, arriving ships cannot load and unload because the terminal is full, and to overcome this problem, in 2015 the Israeli government decided to build a new port called Haifa New Port. Haifa New Port is an expansion project of the old port, and the aim of building Haifa New Port is to expand import and export trade, as well as encourage local economic development in Israel. Because Israel does not yet have sufficient technology and experience, Israel finally collaborated with China to build the Haifa New Port. Israel chose China, because China is a country with rich experience in building sophisticated and modern ports. Construction of the Haifa New Port began in 2018, and took three years to complete. Haifa New Port was inaugurated in September 2021, where the construction was carried out by the Shanghai International Port Group, a terminal operator company based in China. The costs for building the new Haifa port all came from China, with the total investment value reaching 1.7 billion US dollars, or the equivalent of 24.6 trillion rupiah. And in the cooperation agreement, the construction uses the BOT or Build Operate Transfer System, which is a type of development project financing, where investors provide their own capital for the project, and can utilize the results of the development over a certain period of time. When the construction of the Haifa New Port is completed, the port will be operated by China through the Shanghai International Port Group for 25 years. Apart from the cost of 1.7 billion US dollars, China gave Israel funds of 300 million US dollars or the equivalent of 4.3 trillion rupiah as privatization money for 25 years. The construction of the Haifa New Port consists of two phases, the first phase is the construction of a new terminal on 805.5 meters of land from the coastline, and was completed in September 2019. Meanwhile, for the second phase, the construction of a new terminal will be on land 715.7 meters from the coastline, and will be completed in September 2021. And Haifa New Port is the first new port to be built in the last 60 years in the Middle East. When completed, Haifa New Port will have an automated operational system developed by China itself and designed to be environmentally friendly, namely by being equipped with electric container trucks, and these trucks are made by companies based in China. The presence of the Haifa New Port will allow larger classes of cargo ships capable of carrying 18,000 containers or more to dock at the Haifa New Port. China is willing to collaborate with Israel to build the Haifa New Port. Because the port is on the modern Silk Route. This modern Silk Road is one of the Chinese government's most ambitious foreign and economic policies. Where this strategy involves massive investment and infrastructure development in 152 countries spread across Europe, Asia, the Middle East, Latin America and Africa. 
However, as we know, Israel is an ally of the United States. Therefore, when Israel collaborated with China in building the Haifa new port, Israel faced a big dilemma. On the one hand, America is a close ally that always supports Israel's steps, and on the other hand, Israel needs large capital to develop its country's economy with China's help through the construction of the Haifa new port. And seeing the relationship between Israel and China made the United States worried, and put pressure on Israel to reduce cooperation between Israel and China. America is concerned that China could use the port as a gateway to conduct espionage in Israel and its areas of naval activity. This is because Israel's largest naval base is located next to Haifa port, and the American Navy often conducts joint exercises with Israel at that base. America was concerned about Israel's growing relationship with China, and warned Israel of the danger of a Chinese invasion of Israel. And that is why Israel is being pressured by the United States to counter potential Chinese espionage, by asking Israel to carry out routine inspections of heavy equipment arriving at the Haifa new port terminal. Thank you for those of you who have watched this video until the end, don't forget to like comment and share, see you in the next video.